Okay, we retain interesting integral. This one's from the UK integration B sample number 19. We have the integral of x times the square root, one minus x squared over one plus x squared dx. I think what I want to do to start is just use the fact that we have x squareds on the inside and we have this x term on the outside. So what that'll allow me to do is, if I do a u substitution for x squared, we take a derivative, then we're gonna get two x dx. Well, for the 2x, I can just kind of create that right there, multiply in a 2, multiply a half up front so I don't change it, and then we can just go ahead and we'll substitute. So we'll have our 1 half up front. This 2x with this dx is going to be our du. So we'll have that at the end. This is going to transform into square root 1 minus u over 1 plus u du. Then for this, I feel like I did either this exact integral or something really similar to it recently. What I want to do is just multiply by the conjugate. I'll multiply by square root of 1 minus u over square root of 1 minus u. Then when we do that, we're going to end up here in the numerator. It's going to have 1 minus u squared inside the square root. So I'm going to just write that as 1 minus u. And then in the denominator, it's going to become 1 minus u squared. But then from here, what I can do using this minus sign right here, what I can do is break this up into two integrals. So for the first one, we're going to have 1 half times 1 du over square root 1 minus u squared. Second one, using the minus sign, we'll have minus 1 half. Integral of just u du over square root 1 minus u squared. Now for this here, I can simplify this with another substitution. I'll substitute for all this. We'll set t equal to 1 minus u squared. Take a derivative, dt is going to be minus 2u du. So in order to set this up, let's bring the minus sign inside here. Then we want to create this 2. If I multiply in by a 2, then we have this exactly here. I don't want to change it, so let's multiply by another 1 half out in front. So then we'll substitute here, and we'll finish this one, because this is just going to be arc sine. So for the first part, we're going to have here just 1 half arc sine of u. And then here, 1 half times 1 half is going to be 1 fourth then substitute the whole numerator is going to be this dt over square root of t. Well, I can back substitute here with the u value. So this is just going to become half arctan of x squared. Here, we want to integrate. Let's We could bring this into the numerator and think about this as t to the minus 1 half and just use power on this. We'll have our 1 fourth in front. Integrate this. Add 1. We get, two to the, we get t to the 1 half and then take the reciprocal, we need to multiply by two in front. Now I need to back substitute, we need to get this all the way back to x. So our t value is one minus u squared. So we have t equal to one minus u squared. If I plug in x squared here, this becomes one minus x to the fourth. So we can plug this value back in for t and see if we can finish it off. So we're gonna have arc sine x squared over two. Two times one over four gives me one half. This one half power I'll write as square root, and then plug in for t, we get one minus x to the fourth, add a plus c, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good problem from UK, sample problem number 19. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.